I just I hate wet socks. And every time I realize you, I have a wet sock, like you're in it. You're in too deep. It's like too this, late, right? Yeah, like this. Well, look, I'm already sitting down. <laughs> like you know, I'm in. Wait, too wait, deep. we gotta clarify here. Like wet, like you step in a puddle, or you got sweaty toes. Okay, like okay. So right now, there's definitely some sweaty toes. <laughs> like this is <laughs> that shit. That shit's moist and hot. Yeah, like I've been busy. I had to get I had the puppy, and I had to do some. I had to move some stuff around at the house. So like I've I've yet to shower. Like I'm a little. Yeah. I don't know. My I, I don't know. I just realized I'm awkwardly still just holding my bevy this high up in the air. Like, what are you drinking? It looks like dirty tap water. <laughs> yeah, it's green tea. <laughs> It looks like something that if you drained oh, yourself, that's what would come out. Oh my god! I was like, yeah, I was like, it definitely doesn't look like beer. <laughs> oh my but you enjoy god. that now. Sorry to ruin that for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just filtered dust. So awesome. You, it's delicious. So you're in Flint, Michigan. How, how's that going? <laughs> oh my god! It's the best water. My iron levels are through the roof. Well, I bet. I bet. Iron man. Uh, what are we talking about? Socks. So like Wet socks. They're they're definitely sweaty toe wet, mm-hmm. and I think like I think I may have stepped in a little bit, of, maybe a little bit of pee. I had not caught before, like I was from the puppy that is from the puppy that I did not catch before. I made my way back to the office, and I, so you have, sweaty, not, you, have, you have sweaty pee pee socks one right now. It's just well, both are sweaty. One maybe sweaty pee pee. All right. All right. Um, Things are weird, and it's it's the foot I like to put my like. So I like to put my feet like right. I like on my desk and this whole thing. So I like to put my feet on it, and it's like my bottom foot, and it's just like. What do you mean your bottom like, foot? Do you have a top foot? <laughs> yeah, I meant oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my right foot is my right foot because my I, my right foot is my bottom foot. I sit like this. I had so luncheon. I just called it my bottom foot. That's how. That's- yeah. You're on a roll today. I yeah, uh, we we just started. We just started. <laughs> we just started. Dude, what a uh, yeah, what a day. That's and then you know why? It's like the heat. Like I seriously have like I've been delirious from the heat the last two days. Like yeah, I heard Monday the heat down there was oh, brutal. Yeah, mo- like Monday I was on a roof, man. It was ninety three degrees, and I was like, boy, it's hot. And I luckily I got inside like after that, but it's like. That shit pulls it out of you, dude. The sun, man, it yeah. really does. And the heat, and it came out of nowhere. Especially when you're on, on a roof, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, like, it's different. It's yeah, funky much, up there. Yeah, because you're in a higher elevation. Yeah. Not fun. It's not fun. And it depends on what type of roof, man. Like, that was just a yeah. rock roof, luckily. But some of these, like, they have, like, these white roofs. You, you have to have sunglasses on just, to, like, yeah, to be able to, like, uh, walk around. They're called, like, TPO or CPO roofs. Yeah, we were yeah. Yeah, to replace them. But also, like, when I was thinking, too, with hot, it was when I was on asphalt shingles. Like, oh, you, get on a, you get on, like, a three-story townhouse on a 93-degree day. De- 93 day Ooh, spicy. It's liquid top. Yeah, that's what that's what those they have those black rubber roofs that are like that too, man. Like you drop a tool, it like sometimes like you gotta like peel it off the roof. Yeah, man. Enough about that. That is funky hot. But yeah, it's been like yeah, I've been out of it. Oh well, hopefully I go to bed people, early, early, like eight o'clock. I've like been going early. to bed early too, but by choice, not because I'm more. Yeah, you've been getting up. I've been having all oh, and with the with the puppy, bro. Oof. I have been have been I've been having to get up at like three thirty so I can like get up take him out, feed him. And then I hang out. I had to leave the house. I've been, dude, I've been working so far away. So I had to like, I leave at like four 30, like an, an, even earlier than I'm used to leaving. So like, yeah, dude, like eight o'clock is looking so good. And like when I come home, man, cause I gotta get up. I like to hang out with him for like an hour. Cause I just hate putting him right back in the crate. It's tough, you know? Yeah. But we're making it work. We're making it yeah. work. It's a happy, that's a happy pup. It's part yeah. of life. It, you know, if you, ha- if you, w- if you could only do things because it was easy, then you wouldn't, right. you wouldn't be able to do shit. So yeah, he'll get used to it eventually. Do yeah. you, do you, uh, does uh, Zoe create it too? No, she's Yeah. So Zoe, Zoe's at chick's house. Uh, yeah. But it's for just, first she half crate it? Yeah. All, yeah. She's crate trained as well. Like, so oh, okay, she's in okay. there. Yeah. But so like, my- the only thing is like, Zoe's got like bed privileges or like out of like, or on the floor. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel bad. He sleeps in his crate literally. Then he's in there. You know I mean, it, yeah, it's yeah, but it's it is what it is too because he, he literally sleeps sixteen hours a day. He's just a pup, you yeah, know. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. No, he, he, wants, 
He runs 30 was... minutes and then sleeps for 30 minutes. Like, oh, sorry. I'm so no, sorry. I, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was cutting you off and I was going to say sorry. No, you're good. What was your, what was I your was just going to, I was just asking because I know when I had my pups, it, they got yeah. to the certain age where like I could leave them out. I'd come home and you know, everything. Was See, I've never, uh, so I, Zoe, that, that, that another happened with Zoe, you know, she <laughs> loves to eat everything and she would, we would come home to a dead dog. Like it's not yeah. the first time that's almost happens. Oh, it's been twice oh, now. Yeah. But, she, she, where she eats anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like she doesn't, she'll just devour carpet, whatever, you know, so she's an animal. So that won't happen. Then Laura's like, our chick is like, maybe we can do that with Puck. And I'm like, no, but what we're going to do, he's going to be running around like Zoe's cage. Teasing so, you like, what's up, yeah, bitch? What's so up? I was like, no, they're just. I don't, I'm not a fan of the crate train because there's like, I've got nightmares about a few things, you know, like with, with crates, but at the end of the day, like it's safer than, than like getting into something. Cause like what, the other day, like Zoe's like, she likes to lay down on the vents after we run and stuff outside uh-huh. and she came inside to lay down on the vent while her fucking collar got caught in the grate and pulled the whole vent cover right out of the carpet. He managed and I, to run and around started, on <laughs> Well, she started freaking out. So and I was like, well, fuck it. I was like, I hope it doesn't cut her. And I was trying to yeah. calm her down. But I was like, imagine if that happened, we weren't home. And she, you know, she cuts her arms all up or something because she's freaking out. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I just, the crate is the, it just puts my anxiety and everything else at ease. You know, like, mm-hmm. just one of those things for me. It's just, let's just create. But like my parents' dog, out about in the house, you know, n- never had an issue. Doesn't go to the bathroom, doesn't chew anything but it's toys i've never had one of those dogs i've never never had one of them it's a blessing and a curse it's a blessing and a yeah curse. Uh, that's you what I have mean. those days it's... where you're like oh i hope nothing's going on most people a lot of people that do that though i've noticed i have security cameras in their home they like check yeah the dog, like what yeah. you doing motherfucker dude we have one for zoe and she's in a crate like we have <laughs> we watch like it's like it's a solitary prison like yeah. we watch her like when she's alone like she's nothing in, like we can't even give her toys because she's so like she gets so asphyxiated on something like if she were to chew that toy and like she would just not stop then her like you know her gums would bleed like it the takes like she's a dude she's an animal like she's an absolute animal Literally. great dog I, she, I don't make she doesn't she's not like as crazy as she sounds but you know like she's but she's just dude she's her way you know what i mean it's wild yeah it's definitely yeah. wild and it's this, that this breed pup, too though oh definitely that's what i mean and like she she is doing really good with the puppy though like they're do they do it they're doing really well we're really happy with Zoe's uh, like the way she's been treating her. They really, she doesn't, she's not, she's almost there with the laying down. She mm-hmm. still is like, God, she's like, mm. I'm like, Hey, relax. We're all on the couch together. You know, like everyone. And she like, she'll still get up after like five minutes. She's like, fuck this shit. Like that's luncheon. That's what's up though. I'm glad it's yeah. going good with the new pup at home. Yeah. The pup is going, what are we starting with? Oh yeah. We were talking about socks. Pee-pee I don't even socks. know if I, yeah, I just want to take them <laughs> off, but I'm too far in. <laughs> We're in too deep. I got trench foot now. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off. Get the connected. <laughs> Take off the big toe. Let me keep my <laughs> keep the pinky. That's my favorite. Isn't it? If you lose your pinky toe, your balance is thrown off. Other way, big, oh, big toe. toe. If you lose your big oh, toe, your boy. balance is thrown off. Yeah, bro. So look, <laughs> quick story. I've got. Every- <laughs> <laughs> I've got fucked up feet, man. Like I, my feet are not pretty. I do not have, I got nasty man feet. My nails are fucked. Anywho, like I had, I had this ingrown toenail one time on my foot and I got this, like, I call it my switchblade toe. I'm sure you, I'm sure you've heard me talk about my toe before. And they, the what they cut, you know, they cut your, man, they pretty much cut all your fucking toenail out when you have like ingrown toenails or whatever. So like, you know, they cut my toenail. I'm just left with this like little, middle strip which was kind of weird but they numb your feet they numb your toe so i had like four shots in my toe when they before they did it and i stood up bro and i put my left foot down and i fell right into the fucking wall and i was like i was like whoa and she was like yeah your balance is in your big toe and i was like well damn you could have told me like i just went i just kept like it felt like i couldn't stop myself like i just kept going it was wild like i was like i was like it was before i'd like ever been like maybe drunk before so like I imagine that's what it felt like being like hammer drunk, like whoa, like you just happened at so fast. But yeah, it's the big toe. It's they the big toe. I, it's hilarious that they didn't. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, and then so now fixing you leave with a broken nose. Yeah, on top of that, <laughs> the second, the second time I got my ingr, I got ingr more ingr toe. So nasty. But I mean, it's part of life, I guess. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I had to get other ones from. <laughs> <laughs> It does happen, everyone. <laughs> it is common. <laughs> but uh, I had to get it done on my other foot, and they they gave me the shots, and they gave, they just dove right in. And I was like, whoa, champ. I was like, I could feel it all. She was like, huh? 
I was like, no, I was like, you need to slow down a little bit. I was like, I can feel what you're everything. doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can, can feel, feel everything. They're like, hmm, that's weird. They gave me two more. I was like, mm, big <laughs> my big toes is like gone, just drunk. So it just numbs your foot. You don't feel like you don't have any like effects in your head where you feel like like loopy. Like no, a- I guess it was like light lidocaine. Is that right? That's I don't know if that's right. I don't know. No. Novocaine. I don't, I don't, I don't go to the doctor. So I don't know any of that yeah. shit. I don't. I mean, I just don't pay attention enough. It's my fault. I mean, I'm about to get my toenail cut out. I'm not listening to what she's saying. Very but yeah, no effects on the brain, but just numbs that body part, blocks the nerves, I imagine, of some sorts. PhD, not really. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, it's All the right. big toe, because you will fall, you will bust. If any of our followers have a foot fetish, they are going to kick their rocks with this episode. The socks. It's all about the feet. It's hey, all about feet, feet can make or break, especially if we're talking about like your partner. I wasn't say women, but I guess you got to be conscious about who listens. Yeah. At your partner, as far mm-hmm. as me, like feet, bro. You got you gotta have good feet. You gotta have good. Yeah, feet. I'm not. I don't think you have. A, I don't think you're allowed to have a say though, from the sounds of it. <laughs> <laughs> like I just don't got good feet, girl. You better take care I of mean, your toes. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I do my best. I mean, I like I ain't gonna blast chick. I just won't even say it. I won't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say nothing about the things. I'll, I'll leave the things alone for the safety of this program. <laughs> listen, listen, I'll tell you the best was my girl woke me up one time where she was she like her foot rubbed against my leg. I was like, God, leave like a talent. It's like a talent. Woke up and left $60 on right, a dresser. So I was like, get that fixed. <laughs> get that fixed today. I go get the grinder right now. So that's me to Laura. Like <laughs> she wears so she wears shin pads and like oh, yeah, you know the socks you wear so you don't get cut when you're playing ice hockey. She has the worst <laughs> nose. Yeah, so it's my left foot. Yeah, so like when I roll over, yeah, because when I roll over to my right, like if I if I get on the back of the calf, she's like ah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and your big toe is thick son so it's no it's not like a, it's not like <laughs> it's not like a little pinky it's actually a, it's a big old bear claw <laughs> that's a big ass toe <laughs> oh my god oh shit Ooh. but yeah i'll be getting her with it my bad <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no safety on this muff right here. And look, I no even safety. have this. I even ordered this like dope ass man. I'm like, see, I got some spots. For sure. <laughs> it's, the, it's the pee sock soaking into your. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the yeah, ammonia levels. <laughs> the iron from the dirty water in the pee. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <sighs> I even I even went on Amazon and like got this nice like men's grooming kit that had this like I was basically looking for like an angled toenail clipper. And the, I even got the angled toenail clipper. Like when I do shape it up, like it, does, it comes, man, this met toenail. You should have just gone and got a die grinder. <laughs> <laughs> just realize how bad it's making my toes sound. <laughs> I so think bad. I think. I think maybe I do have a Dremel kit in my truck. I could use my Dremel. Oh yeah, like, that would work. I was kind of like, playing off. Maybe I we should get a picture and put it on while we're talking oh, for people to see. But I don't think man. you can come back. You can't come back from that. Man. Well, if I take it, if I do it right now, it's going to be a linty. It's going to be a lint. man. I don't. You know when you got it's going to be a linty. It's a picture foot. of your toe. You see like the piss stained sock in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate it too when I take these socks off. And I'll rub my foot like on the carpet, and I got white carpet, and I wear black socks, bro. Oh uh, yeah, dude, lint balls every. I just hate it. I hate this whole carpet. I can't wait to. F- oh my god, this fucking carpet. I've been like, when it comes to like hot weather, I actually don't wear <sighs> socks sometimes. Like if, so I choose, I don't, if I'm not I, in boots, to that point where like I'm I'm not yeah. wearing socks. If I'm not in boots, I'm not in I'm not in socks. Like I wear Vans sockless. Then I would, I'm a slide hoe. So yeah, definitely. I'm just wearing slides or Vans. Copies. I don't even and I yeah I don't even own shoes. I don't even own shoes. Like yeah. really, I got two pairs of slides, two pairs of Vans, a high cut pair of Vans. Those I'm complete opposite. But I <laughs> so I've had to invest in a lot of like the sneaker spray stuff. But yeah, dude, yeah. I can't. I can't. It's just 
I mean, your your body regulates through your feet, from what I've read. So like, yeah, your feet, and your I, head. I, I'm look, I'm dripping already just sitting yeah. here. I'm always yeah, flat. You run hot. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's so hot. weird. I don't know, but yeah. So socks are, yeah, iffy. I'm not a fan because like it's well, like ah, man, like I got these new, I got these new boots a couple months ago, and like I always get six inch boots, and I've always wanted eights. I just never commit to like buying eights. Like you can put on eight inch boot, like that's a lot of fucking boots. You know, mm-hmm. so I never commit to it. I was like, fuck it, I'm doing it, man. And I'm not saying I dislike it, but it is spicy. Like the yeah. feeder. You'd be, talking feeder your, you'd be talking your pants in and shit. I do both. Depends on where I'm at, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Like, you're a badass. What can I say? Yeah. Like if I'm like, if I'm outside somewhere, it's not a big deal. I rock them like stuffed in, mm-hmm. you know, and I rock the big boot. But if I'm like, like if I go to a lab, I tuck them, you know, just try, I like, try to, like, I play it. I mean, you know, I try to play it by ear. But then again, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Yeah. so but they're comfy but man they're they get they get spicy mm. but they sell a six inch of the same exact boot like literally the same exact one so i've been thinking about it, like maybe like going and get it i don't know how the fuck do we land here pp socks is the Men Behind the Mitts podcast. Hosted by Big J. And now, here's your favorite buttes. Well, what a great way to bring the episode in. Hey, welcome, episode 55. 55. Sergey Ga- Gancha. Yeah, Sergey Gancha, pee pee socks. I think pee pee socks is going to be the title. Foot foot fetish. <laughs> foot oh, fetish beware. Foot fetish. Man. Foot fetish. Hockey how, how are you? Is... How are you? Wait, before oh, we do good. that, how yeah. are you? How are oh, you? I'm good, dude. I'm so good. I'm just like... Yeah just good i'm just on yeah i'm i'm excellent like i really am i mean obviously i'm having you know life isn't like grand i mean it is though it is i mean you know what i'm saying it really is uh little man my son he's two cam cam uh we uh (laughs) been swimming and he's a fish he's third day at the pool he's already jumping off the side into the water and yeah he's a he's a g and then right here today uh he just peed in his his potty by himself like a big boy for the first time yeah let's go go. he's only two and a half and we haven't been working on it we just bought it so it's around and yeah with it and he was like i had and he let us know he's like i gotta pee and she was like well let's here try just he did i was like that's cool man good moment yeah yeah life's good so you like we talked about earlier about waking up early i've been getting up i have to get up at 5 30 for my ice hockey games on wednesday and it's cool. I played well, blah, blah, blah. But I just, right. you know, I've always heard like you get up earlier, you get more done, blah, blah, blah. And I've always yeah, yeah. been like, yeah, I need to. I'm, a, I'm an early, I'm an early gas. Like, I get yeah. up after it too. So I've been working on getting up early and I, I'm like, all right, well, what am I going to do on non game days? Cause I can't just get up that early and have nothing cause I'm just going to be tired, right. you know? So I've been going to the gym and I've been back yeah. to uh, power lifting, strength training. And I'm, I, it feels good, dude, because it's like nice. I get home from the gym, it's like 8 a.m and it's it's just like i've accomplished so much and you know how it feels like yeah you, know, you can take oh, fuck yeah, man. And the fact that it's so early man yeah i just blast through my days now it's it's been it's been awesome man so yeah life is great right now that's dope i was gonna say i've been seeing through the the instagram stories you've been getting it in there early man it's nice yeah. I, I remember like that was the only cool thing like why well, i used to work like this later shift like a 10 to 6 mm-hmm. and i'd get in the, like why not like what am i gonna do get up at like you still have to get up at you know 8 a.m. So why not get up at 6 a.m.? And I just get up at 6 and go work out yeah. like, before work. And like, man, and just change your whole day. Like, you're fired up, you know? I enjoy going to bed a little bit earlier. Too. I mean, with the playoff hockey, it kind of sucks. Oh, I'm missing it does some suck. Games. I, re- like, I, got, I got the free recording through Sling. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, and that's what I was getting now. Like, I just watch the game the next day when I'm at yeah. the gym. It's not a big deal. But, yeah, dude, I, I really enjoy it, man. Getting up early. It's, it's, a, it's really changed my life. <clears throat> I, I feel – better throughout the day too oddly enough like yeah. i'm getting the same amount of sleep which is the crazy part yeah like, yeah you just move your I, block you just... yeah but yeah i still i feel more energized <laughs> it, it's it's crazy yeah. so 
Yeah, man, it's 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 really good. It's really good, and I'm working on a lot of different personal development things and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's like every little thing is coming together slowly but surely. Yeah, I you know feel how that. it is. You know, how that's it is. good. Yeah, good bro. man. You, uh, I see you've been getting it in at uh, your gym though, in the garage. Yeah, the, the garage has been the garage has been nice. Uh, it's been treating me well, I, and basically all I do is the weight's totally different. So it's like I got yeah, I have to remove my head from it. You know, because of the way that the numbers are like, if I were to show you the numbers, you'd be like, what are you like, what are you doing? This is not even a warm up. And it's like, I know it's just weird. Like, it's the weirdest stuff like doing it's all it's all, right. all cable for you right now. No, I, so I have a bench. I have a bench. Okay. So I do squats and shoulder press and incline and uh, decline and flat on okay. um, low rows. I do, yeah, I pretty much I can get away with almost everything. Um I don't, I don't, I do like one arm cable pool, like pec deck. I do flies. I mean, I get, a, I get a pretty good workout in like it's a garage workout, you know, mm-hmm. but it's, it's definitely decent on them. But like, yeah. So like, for an example, like just like tricep pull downs, like extensions, mm-hmm. like with, with the rope, it's like 15 pounds, like for doing two arm. And I'm like, but like, it's because, and I've greased the shit out of this thing. Like it's crazy, man. It's cause it's like, new and it's not broken in yet. So it's well, like, no, I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's just different. Like, it's like, damn, like this is not right, but it just is what it is. You know, like I know that I know what it feels like, you know, I'm yeah. like, Whoa. And like, Whoa, it's crazy. But like, it's, it's wild, man. Cause I'm like, this makes no sense. So another thing I've been doing too, since we're talking gym talk is, um, I've been, um, Listen, I've come to the conclusion I'm not going to be a bodybuilder because it, it, it's just not going to happen. All right. It's not. Yeah. Gonna happen. And it, it's, when I really think about the different styles of working out and the, the first thing that comes to my mind is how is this going to affect me on the ice? Because I don't want anything that's going to negatively affect me. So like bulking, yeah. like I'm not going to bulk up because that's going to make me slower on the ice. I'm just not going to do whatever. Yeah. And I'm always playing hockey. So I've started really focusing on obviously the strength training because that that's going to relate onto the ice, but a hockey related workouts instead of trying to right. work i'm just yeah. compounds i'm doing that so that got me thinking with your garage workout so like i've been doing like um single leg squats and stuff like that but on a balance board to build my oh, strength nice. on my edges is that something yeah. you've, you've thought about doing yeah that's that's stuff i want to progress to like mm-hmm. uh, it's like part of like buying like there i've got this pretty much like the system of like buying like one thing a month you know like for the gym because like everything's still so expensive right now yeah. like have you, you like thought COVID. Of, this just popped in my head have you thought about trying to find like a gym that's closing or something and trying to sweep up some equipment for the low Dude, even that even that like it's, it's not pricey. it's not feasible like because all these other gyms like dude businesses are so crazy right now like even yeah. like these other gyms are just like if one's closing and like there's three more opening it's fucking yeah. weird right now it's, it's, the every, year the, it's the year of the entrepreneur too a lot of people are yeah. thinking about doing their own thing because of the COVID and shit so yeah it makes and a lot of people bought a lot of people did what i did they just bought their own shit like you mm-hmm. know like it sucks so we we're trying to get a spin bike because i really want to get one so basically what I, oh what i meant what i meant to say is like as i work out so if i'm doing a set like if i'm doing like flat bench like i do flat bench i do my set you know my four my four sets of whatever and then I run from my driveway down to my neighbor's driveway and back. And it's a, it's a pretty decent sprint. Like it's, uh, it's, it's decent. Like I try to hit the gas on the street this way. Then I jog it that way, jog it back. And then I hit the gas in front of the house, you know, mm-hmm. just trying to keep the feet moving, the heart rate up. And that's mm-hmm. basically like, I look like in my workouts, like it's crazy, like based off my watch, like I try to keep my heart rate elevated because that's where you really get the fat burn in and you know, like really in, you get the, yeah, you the, build the cardio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, and basically I sprint it out and then I run, I don't, you know me, I'm not a big, I like, I'm a fast work. I work out relatively quickly. Like I go from one thing to the next, I give myself like 30 second rest. But, you know, I, I try to keep this, especially in the garage, it's like working out in a sauna. So it definitely puts it like into the next level. But you talk about fucking gas. It's a different level of gas. Like it basically feels like what the roller rink I play in. That's well, like the heat. You're level. also battling. Yeah. The, I was going to say the elements of the heat, you know, you're working out. Plus you're in yeah. the garage and it's 90 degrees outside. So your garage is probably what another 10 degrees hotter, even with the door. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's warm. Yeah. Depending on like, depending on um, if there's a, if there's any type of draft or anything, but yeah, yeah dude. So you're thinking about getting a, a spin bike, you were saying? Yes, yeah, so that's the next thing that like me and Chick really want to get is a spin bike because she was like, I want it. Like she was like, because when she's like preparing for everything, like getting ready to move in and whatnot, but like not right that's now, dope. but that's dope. she she like wants things. Yeah, it's just a future thing. So like we're starting to like prepare like little things. I, I want to spin bike too. I fucking love spin. You know me and you used to yeah, hit we, the old the spin together, man. I yeah, love that, spin. That's like, a different type of workout, folks. If you've never yeah. done it, first of all, it's very humbling. If you think you're a badass, hit a spin class. Yeah. And if you want to really, really get a workout, spin class. <laughs> spin class, man. And it's it's fun. It's enjoyable. Like it, it's it's one of the only classes where like it's like damn, like I I don't want to stop. Like I'm because like there's like I don't know how to. I don't mean any offense, but if there's like women in there, 
that are doing it like they're like bro like, just ass. like the instructor it's like bro like how like you're not even gas like she's like yelling the whole time like standing i remember the one, first two, three the first like, time i did a spin <laughs> class with you and i was like dude like this what is this you know we're in our prime we work out every day we play hockey you know three four times a week like this what is this and i got my ass whooped and i was like yeah and then the lady next to me just smiling like 80 years old like, hey. yeah, it's crazy <laughs> it spin is it me. is Spin to me is one of the only things like spin and row or like uh-huh. the only like type of cardio to me that can get you anywhere with hockey other than doing like box jumps, like so explosive th- stuff like that. Yeah. You thinking like Peloton? Yeah. Like that's what we want to spend the money on. Like, I don't want to fucking spend the money on it, but like we're, if we split it, I mean, I'm down cause I'll use it, you know? So yeah. I, but um, then they, but then they get you with the, with the membership and all that shit. Yeah. So it's like, I Depends can just on- really, to me, man, I'm all metal. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I can gear my own stuff. Like, all right, get up. That might not be the same as a class. Yeah. But man, I throw on some good ABR or something and, and get it, get lost in the mix. Yeah, definitely. And I, and I tell myself, I have to push myself, like, all right, get down, get up. You know what I mean? Like, do it to break down the songs. It's basically what they do. You yeah. know, and you just, yeah. some people just like, I do like the environment of the class, but who knows, man? I don't know. Whatever. I, I want to um, start. They have them at, at my gym now and I haven't used them, but I've seen the NHL Combine use them. Um, it's the bikes with like the, it's a fan. It's got like the, the, what is the assault, be- I think they're called assault bikes or air, air, air bikes. Some people call them assault bikes. Some I haven't looked into bikes. them, but I've seen them and I'm like working out and I'm staring so at them. So it's like, like this, hmm. right? They go like this and yeah. it's a thing. And it, but so it's like a giant fan between your legs. Any any more effort you put in is exactly how much resistance you get uh. is, is how that works. Because I believe the fan, it's something with the fan, but the, that's where the resistance comes in. Like in the harder you go, the more resistance you get. Like a lot Fair. of fighters use them to do like, they'll do like intervals on them. Like yeah, they'll just yeah, like they'll yeah, be yeah, in the yeah. middle of a workout. They'll get on there for 15 seconds and then just hop right off. And go, yeah, that's what I've seen. Uh, well, obviously, I'm relating everything to hockey here, but yeah, that makes right. sense the fighters too. But yeah, that, yeah, so that's I want to. Since we're talking about bikes and cycles, I, that's one of the things I want to learn how to use properly. Because I was going yeah. to on there, I was like, just, hey, just a cycle. It should be easy, but like, nah, uh, like YouTube yeah. it. YouTube yeah, that's it. what they I'm doing. Some do. good stuff mm-hmm. on there. Like they got some good stuff on that's there. Hell yeah, dude. That those things are hard. I've 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 only been on one once. You know what I do like and mm-hmm. hate at the same time is my old gym it had the Jacob's ladder. You ever been on that thing where it's basically like a ladder? It's a rope ladder. It's wide, like three, three, four foot wide. And it goes, it's basically like a, a giant, it sits like this, right? So this is the part you climb, this is the back, and then the bottom's here. So it's like this. Yeah. And the, it's one of those things where you, you have a strap on your back. You have to adjust it to how tall you are and you climb and basically the faster you the faster you climb and the more the pull you string but the more the string pulls like the faster it goes and bro you talk about like a kill i remember the first time i did i did 30 seconds and i was like (laughs) like, i was like dude thought i was gonna die after 30 seconds and there's videos online of people doing like three thousand steps like that like some people like most people just shoot for their 100 like 200 300 like it's crazy dude it's crazy what you can train your body to do when you watch some of these people when they work out. It, yeah. it really is. I mean, the shit like that you're talking about where 3,000, like, oof. They just, like, flip a switch and go numb. Like, I get that because there's sometimes where, like, I'm in a workout and I feel that way, but, like, mm-hmm. nothing with cardio. <laughs> like, um, not the case, bro. It's usually when I'm at the bottom of a squat. <laughs> yeah, you're like, dear God. <laughs> so I'm just like, I ain't falling. I don't care. I'll break these goddamn legs. I'm not dropping this weight. <laughs> Yeah, I've been doing. I just I, I took all the weight off on my squat, dude. I just do like one thirty five and one fifty five, and I just ass the grass all the way down, like full squat, come all the way up. It's different, but I fuck with it. Like I, I, I like with the mobility of it, you know. No, yeah, definitely, and it's probably easier on your knees too. I don't know if it is or not, but I mean, I, I feel like it's. I don't know. It just feels clean. Like I don't want to really do any more weight. Like I just kind of do it just to do the exercise. Are you slowing down you know? on your rep too on your decline? Uh, not super slow, but just like I I, I work it out. Like that's something I noticed because uh, I talked to one of my helpers about it because he's he got into the gym when he was working with me, and um, it's like I, I just like he's young. He's like twenty two or twenty three. So it's like when I'm I'm like man when I was that age, bro, I was just like I didn't give a shit. Like we just went as hard as we never sore nothing. Yeah, yeah. And like now it's like man like just the weight I use and also just like kind of like the, what I focus on, like I can literally feel every movement, you know, I'm feeling what I'm working on. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a different, 
process of just getting older and you know me i'm weird too with my body like i'm really in tune mm -hmm. with this with this temple you know like i i i, I keep i and so i know man so just like and able to explain that to someone like you because when when you first started working out like that's what i did i just had to i, I would like sit on the couch and go like this and you can feel that muscle move now you control that muscle and now when you work out you'll feel that different pool it's you know, so, like that. yes uh, it's so crazy i do it I it's, it's kind of cheesy but i do it in the mirror in the bathroom and i'll yeah i'll, do, I'll like move my arms certain ways and certain angles to see where it's activated yep. the most and i'm like okay so i don't need to go here i need to go here yeah no joke it's wild head. and then i just yeah. and then when i go to the gym i'm like remember in the bathroom up. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> but no it joke. works and then you it's i guess muscle memory is what yeah, we're talking about just being in tune and, and knowing you, what you want yeah like, but when you when you and it's crazy too because no weight when you really do it and you really flex like right yeah. now if i do this it it's straining hard and you really get yeah. a good pump so you, you can connect that like that's supposed to feel like wow that. right yeah it, you yeah. really don't need that much weight it's crazy no. a good little pump so. and that's that's what i'm getting at so like with the weight i'm using i'm just really focusing on i'm just limited you know with my weight yeah. my dumbbells yeah. only go to 52 mm -hmm. so like, i'm just like i'm just really focusing on the movement the, the you know just getting a good feel for everything and like the everything's coming together more like the balance like i'm getting more I, and, I'm, and i'm already it's just different it's definitely you're breaking more, down the you're breaking down the fibers too more i feel yeah, like it's, it's it's you're 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 focusing more on that muscle so you're instead of just right. like a quick a quick pump it's it's much slower and grind you get every little nook and cranny out. yeah that's that's what it feels like and i'm getting mm -hmm. sore but i'm also it's like it's a good workout like you're probably like, seeing a little more pump too right yeah, it's nuts man it's crazy <laughs> from the lower weight that's yeah. what it's crazy like and trust me, like i'm not that big the shirt is not that tight like i just look like i don't it's just weird man like and like yeah. and, it, and it's i've talked to people before like i remember i told you that one guy in the gym like we we're talking about my nationality and stuff like that and i'll you know tell him i'm hispanic and polish and stuff like that and he was like oh because you're good he was, he's like you probably maintain shape like that and it's literally like two weeks i'm already just like yeah just two weeks in yeah. like you know, it's that's just two weeks and it's like i'm like why do i ever fucking stop, stop. i get so <laughs> i get so goddamn because it's just two weeks yeah it is like why do i ever do that like it gets oh my god it gets so mad yeah it's frustrating right oh my god i get so mad I, I remember i told you what was it last month or yeah a month and a half ago i, I joined that new gym i got back in. yeah fucking slaying i start seeing results my, my interior delt and everything starting to come in and then you know life and you know Dude. a week goes by and then i join a hockey league and i'm skating three times a week and so i'm fucking gassed and i'm like all right so two weeks go by and, and it finally was like almost yeah. a month and i was like i gotta get the fuck back in there and then like one yeah, week yeah. back and i'm starting i'm feeling swole as fuck and i'm just like man if i never would stopped <laughs> yeah i hate it i hate it i've been doing this i'm actually gonna get some blood work done just i want to check man i've been having this real bag like fatigue man it's almost like chronic fatigue or something i don't know if it's what is chronic yeah, fatigue just like i'm exhausted like i'm exhausted like it's I'm, i feel like i'm exhausted and i don't get any recovery is basically what i feel like i and looked like, into this because i felt the same i think it has something to do with our age too though right like the, oh the is, chemical, this, is this is yeah, this the I've start been, of like I, cells not reproducing and it's, shit? it's not as fast yeah because i was like man why am I'm i always i was like why am i always tired even days where i don't I, I'm, you know, what I'm saying like it doesn't. Like make I power sense. through a workout, but I'm yeah. like, bro. And I looked into it, and from it's just eight. We're, we're not thirty. That, that testosterone <laughs> ain't ain't just flowing like it used to, baby. Uh, but it's okay because, but, like, here's the thing, and this is I heard an old. Hey, TRT guy. gets delivered right to the front door nowadays. So <laughs> what's up, big fella? Just can't, I heard an old man say this, and I, it's been stuck in my head, and I'm gonna live the rest of my life with it. Just don't let the old man in. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, don't yeah. don't, don't stop moving. Like, that, always dude. have something. Like, if you if you can't make it to the gym, take a walk. You you don't want to yeah. walk, ride your bicycle. Just don't let the old man in. Because once he's in, he's home. You feel me? Yeah. And that's oh, why. And that's why we see these older guys. Like at our gym, when we used to work out, remember that old guy? He'd be working out, and then he's running around the whole gym, and then he's yeah. working out. Like that, it's impressive. Because I can't do that. I'm not in between yeah. sets running around, bro. <laughs> man, I really that might be it. Because like I was starting to lean towards like the vid. You know, because I did get the, I did get the vibrish, so I was like starting to lean towards that. Like, is this a long term effect? Because like, chick's been you know, had complications this whole time, and Still, it's like, to this day. yeah, like to this, like she's mm. in, she's on an inhaler, dude, and like That's she gets awful. the same, she gets the same thing where she gets so fatigued, and she it takes her a whole like she'll like she'll work a a bar shift or something like that mm. down at the down on the beach, 
and she'll get so fatigued that like the whole next day she's like she's just she's just in bed like she's just so fatigued like from the week and everything and it's like listen I'm not, and, yeah i'm not a doctor but you know yeah, based, yeah, yeah. i know you we've worked out and i know you're the way you work and things like that and how you are i think personally i think it's just that you're just getting a little Man. bit maybe you got to start compensating dietary wise or supplement wise yeah maybe that's it maybe that's are you it. on that's subs, I, are you on subs right now yeah yeah vitamins vitamins and subs i take uh my men's my men's sport uh, -huh. uh i take my um arginine my glutamine daily okay. uh you on, you on amino acids yeah well that's in my that's in my uh glutamine mix it's a hydro it's like a post post workout mix uh -huh. it's like to help you stay hydrated or whatever but that's in that amino acids and my glutamine arginine i take in pill form i like that i get more of a uh i get more veiny with the, with the yeah that thank you vascular uh but yeah i like that i like that more speaking uh, of hydration i have started using um i drink i drink one before uh my games and i drink one after is the pedialyte sport and get that pedialyte shit out of here I'm it works it works. I feel so does, great. Obviously, I know it's just guy. electrolytes, but listen. Yeah. The name brand. I feel cool saying Pedialyte. It's the name brand. Pedialyte Sport Black Bottle. This is for adults, bro. Uh, I get the packet. <laughs> so it's in a water bottle. <laughs> Nobody knows. What are you drinking? Oh, just, oh I got the electrolyte. Just putting it out I gotta there. I got to jump in here real quick. We're going to switch gears and get to hockey. But uh, my, my parents went on vacation and visited some family up in Pennsylvania, man. And we've got – they're they're like real big fans of the show. They Are watch they? us on – yeah, they watch us on YouTube and stuff. So I just wanted to shout, shout out them to them. Out yeah, fast. shout yeah, out my to My cousin them. Vicky, and they're in Pennsylvania. And they – we've actually – suppose uh, per them, that we they got us a, a person over in Germany who listens. And I was like, we do have some people overseas that listen. So they told them about a show. They told us about us over there. So that's cool, man. But Wait, yeah, quick wanted, question. Quick question. Yeah. This is important. What part of the line in PA? Philly fans or Pittsburgh fans? That's a good question. I should have asked them that. Mm. Well, I, I'm not prepared. Listen here, folks. If you're listening, we appreciate you. If you're Penguins fans, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they're big fans. They love it. And they, uh, I, don't, I don't get to see them. That I was supposed to try, to try to get with them over the phone. But, man, we had a million things. Go, I got the puppy. Have you been to PA a lot? Uh, when I was younger. Isn't it crazy younger, how yeah. there's fucking signs warning you of the drunk drivers? <laughs> I'd never seen so many signs when I was driving up to New York about like, be careful, drunk drivers. It's wild. That's wild. Not saying all of PA, but it was just something I noticed. Nah, I didn't know PA was reckless like that, bro. Them boys party. Them boys PA's, party. PA's just out there. Just, just grab a sixer and go for a drive, bro. Hey. Hey, I, maybe, I just maybe know, I'll go steal I know the Liberty Bell. Who knows? I know Breezewood, Pennsylvania, because that's where we always stop before we got on the Ohio Turnpike or something. We used to go to Michigan all the time when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And like St. Louis, something like that. I don't know. Ooh. Then Altoona. I know Altoona. That's because we got family there. So I know mm -hmm. Altoona, Pennsylvania. And we used to be, we've been to some racetracks up there, dirt bikes. And uh, I lived in Blairsville for a year. Blairsville, did you? Pennsylvania. Yeah, small fucking town. There's how far Blairsville. is that above the how far is that above the line now? I don't know. I, it would take me about, <laughs> it would take me a good eight, like, I don't know. I can't even remember how long the drive was. It was just fucking miserable. Yeah. There's a hot, there's a hot dog restaurant. There's a, there's a Walmart. <laughs> That's it. And it's just a four lane highway. We just, we would just oh, street, street, street race all the time. And, all right. Quick story. We were down. <laughs> we, were down. <laughs> uh, we were in Ocean City one time. Me, remember Adam? I don't know if you remember my buddy Adam. I definitely, you'd know if you saw him. Like and he, me and him were walking. We're young. Like we're, I think this was like one of the senior years or something like that. Ooh. Right. We're walking down the sidewalk and uh, this woman leans out this side of this like Toyota crawl and she goes y'all know where the piggly wiggly is <laughs> <laughs> i was like what the fuck is she talking about <laughs> adam was dead he couldn't even respond and i just had this look on my face she was like huh and i was like there's a roses i didn't, I didn't there's know what roses <laughs> And oh, she City, Maryland, like, the only play with the roses still, by the way. Yeah, she was like, what? And then just, I was dead. I didn't even have a response. Where's the Piggly? What is the fuck is a Piggly? I've never even heard of that. Dude, a Piggly Wiggly, man. It's, but that's like a that's like the dash ins in fucking down south. Uh, <laughs> so they, like, they don't have like Wawa's, they have Piggly Wiggly? Yeah, they, got, they got Piggly Wigglies. That's some redneck ass shit, bro. Yeah, right? I'm going to go Piggly Wigglies, give me some, some tater tots. <laughs> 
Piggly Wiggly. Oh man, Ocean City, Ocean City, the best. Give me the best. Speaking of the best, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> That was so fast. <laughs> Give me the best, the best, the best, the best of you. Oh, I'm on man. It. You're man, on, I'm one on one today. today. Yikes. Yeah. What's in this tea? <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's not, the, it's not the tea. It's the pee. Uh, <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> it's so <good. laughs> Oh, he's been so good. He hasn't barked once. What a good pup. Because yeah, he knows Guess you stepped in piss. He yeah. walked by. He's like, where's this go? <laughs> I'm going to flick the fuck out of him. You little shit. Yeah, fucker. Let's talk hockey. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, man. Okay. So first, we're Where just going to... Let's just, let's just talk about the North. Since uh, the Habs swept Winnipeg. Um, I talked about it earlier today with a buddy just the, one of the most slept on divisions and definitely slept on teams going into this playoff series. I have a lot to say about the North and everything that's going on with it. Should I start well, right now? Right now. Let's just, this, we're into it. This is it. This is, this okay. is done. I'll, oh, I'll start with the, I'll start with the good. I'll start with the good. And then I'll yeah, get yeah, to yeah. the bad. Cinderella story. I mean, we, it, it's so amazing <laughs> sports that you get these type of opportunities. It, I mean, I, the closest comparison for me is like, NCAA Final Four, where you see these no-name schools make it to the Final Four. You know, you have these Cinderella stories. To see it happening in the NHL is so yeah. awesome. It just shows how great the league really is. Um, that and and first of all, did you see how the fucking fans react? You could tell they haven't fucking won shit in forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't know what to do. They, they didn't like, know what they're fucking trying to flip buses and can't and shit. Anyways, yeah. uh, and a rant for the good because that's as good as it fucking gets. The North Division was weak. I said yeah. this, and that's how you have a team like Montreal who slept on knock everybody out because yeah. the, the, the teams weren't as good as they thought they were because it was a weak division. So you get you gassed up, you're feeling strong, you got a great record. Well, you ain't played nobody. So a team yeah. that's at the bottom, even in your own division, can knock you on your socks. Now, listen, I won't take anything away from them because they do look – they look hungry. Like, yep. at, they played against Toronto, they wanted it more. You could tell. They yeah. played against Winnipeg, they wanted it more. You could tell. And they, yeah. and, they've, and you could see it's starting to happen, that locker room bonding. And Cole Caulfield coming in, I know he's wow. not, the, not, you know, the greatest fucking player right now, but he is contributing night in, night out. It's yeah. so awesome to see that kid uh, play. And then he, <laughs> he gets the apple on the game winner. So dope. So dope. So, yeah, a carry price effect is real. Tyler Toffoli yeah. is, is a huge signing. Uh, the Canadians, Corey Perry, just all of them. All of all them, them dude. And they're doing Perry, it without Drew. Yeah, that's so crazy. What? That's so crazy. This whole squad, man, this, this, this whole squad, you, you pretty much nailed it. So that, that's basically what I summed up as well. I was like, well, look, it's it's Montreal. It was kind of theirs to take. They were the last team in and the first team done. Like, it was kind of – it was Toronto's division to just steal, and that's exactly what they did. Uh, Carrie, uh, Carrie, uh, Corey, Corey, Carrie, Carrie, Larry price, Jesus Christ, my brain price, seven games, one shutout goals against is like 1.97. Like, I mean, it's unreal. the carry price effect is in full effect, but this is what I said. Will, will this be able to carry this team? I mean, look, look who they're going to be playing Tampa, or the Canes, right? And if you look or, or at is it Boston, is it or is it it reseeds Boston based off where you were at? Oh wow! So they'll probably end up playing either Tampa or the winner of Vegas and um, that's so crazy. Uh, Colorado. With that being said, if they play someone like Vegas or Colorado, I don't care what goal you have. We've already seen both those teams have great goaltenders. Grubauer's been a fucking stud all year. Yeah. Uh, the Flurry and Robin Leonard and net for Vegas, and both teams have lit it up, right, against great yeah. goaltending. So relying on great goaltending isn't going to be enough. I think yeah. the show stops here. I hate to say it. I, you know, well, if they I, prove I me wrong, then so be it, but I, I hope think the so. show stops here. So I hope for the – I just hope for the whole sake of everything that it's not just – I hope it's not a blowout. I hope it's not a sweep and anything like that because I just think – I just think – It'd be an embarrassment for the North checked. Division. The North will be checked as soon as they play somebody else. Then that's the only time. The North will be immediately checked. I mean, I mean, look at the speed of Boston and, and the Islanders series right now. There's no way they're hanging there. Like, there's that, no way. That's an unreal series right now. Yeah. Like, uh, before we switch gears, but, like, that, like the Habs don't have that pace. 
Mm-mm. I mean, it's, it's, I don't see that. Maybe the physicality, they might hang with Boston, but then Boston's just going to ram it down the throats. But that's even to say if Boston makes the next round. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I like the Habs. I like the squad they've got going. Suzuki coming alive. I mean, it's <sighs> Anderson. Got- that's such a great pickup, too, for them. Like, I want to mention that guy. He's a stud. They, they have the skill level calibers, and it's like they don't have like the huge superstars. They have a bunch of good yeah. players, though, that bond it well and are playing well. They're getting production through all four lines. It could be it, that's all you need sometimes, right? That, that's exactly what you need. And I mean, that's they, they might. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to just count them out. But uh, I mean, it's it's exciting. It's exciting for them that they're in the position that they're in. They got some good rest because these other teams, these especially some of these series, man, these are some physical games being played. Uh, let's jump. Let's go ahead. And since we're talking about physicality, let's jump into the Bruins uh, Islanders series. Uh, talking about physicality and some words being exchanged a lot of a lot of commenting on refing this year and the yeah. league's not putting up with it it's crazy yeah. i am liking the league stepping up and doing that though i i do like that like we you know you don't no you don't get the opportunity to to have those words you yeah, know? you're not going to tarnish tarnish our our our, our refs and in, in, in our league you know you keep those comments to yourself you, you know if right you want to say some shit in the locker room and everybody agree yeah we got fucked on call sure go be it let your fan base your fan base will agree with you but to the media public eye yeah. it's not a good look so so and that's why Cassidy they do that. got fined twenty five thousand. yeah yeah have a meeting yeah yeah i mean have a meeting afterwards like, express your feelings because we all know we all know when you say it well, by now anyway when you when you argue with the ref all you're doing is adding more time he's going to remember you even more than he already does <laughs> you know it's just like mm-hmm. just just go with it you question it but you don't have to you know, badger it it is what it is it's not going to change the call's already been called dude the pick the the signing of Paul Mary and Paggio for for the New York Islanders has been so huge, and you're seeing it this series for sure. The I counted the Islanders out. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were good. Oh man, they looked good. But I, the way Boston had been playing, I was like, man, all four lines, and they got the perfection line. Like it's gonna, it's that's hard to beat. But they've hung in there, and I think part of it is Boston let them has, has let them hang in there. There's been a few times where Boston hasn't looked like Boston, just complete dominance on the ice. Mm. But the I don't eye, know. It's hard to say. Volomov has stood say. on his head. I was going to say, Volomov has been a big key for for the Islanders' success. I mean, be, being outshot, the scoring chances. All right. Hey there. Intermission time. Do, 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 do. All the scoring opportunities. <laughs> oh my God. That hurt so bad. <laughs> All the scoring opportunities that uh, he's kept them in the game and stuff like that. Varlamov Bar- Bar- has played a big role in their success. And I mean, and, and to keep the success rolling, moving forward, do they got Josh Bailey, Barzell, the, these all oh, they're in the right, yeah. dude, Bavillier, they're in the right place at the right time. This team is, 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 uh, dude, I don't know. They got the speed. Brock Nelson getting an Eberle, dude, you can go down the whole roster. This is a scary squad. And Eberle hadn't scored since the pre- pre- previous um, uh, round. So for right. him to get on the board, that's not a good look for Boston. You don't want a guy like that to start getting hot on you. And the fact that this is another team that's doing it without one of their their best players, Lee Lee, yeah, like holy shit, yeah, Anders Lee, yeah, dude, wow. He and I think I think too. I think I hate to say it, but when a team loses a guy like that, it's almost a a pro instead of a con for them because everyone feels like they have to step it up and they come well, together big, to make you know. Big addition of Kyle Palmieri, and he's fitting right in with this squad, really stepping up. He he gets so many opportunities, so many bucks on net. He puts him. He's always in the right position, ready to receive a pass, ready to shoot. It's a they're, they're a scary squad. But looking at Boston, man, I don't know. Is Tuca injured? It, it, did we? Do they release if he's injured? Because I know he came out of the game the uh, night early. I think he got yanked because he was. It just wasn't. They were. That, the yeah, they were, were just on a four were, two. Yeah, they and they came. It came quick. It was like boom, yeah. boom, boom, and they were some yeah. pretty goals too. No, oh, absolutely. The Islanders are That's playing I mean, good hockey good. right now. It's it's. But I don't when know. you turn, oh I don't wait. Know. We, First, we got to talk about Marshawn's. Uh, when he, when I knew he, soon, I knew when he had the puck, he was going to score that goal. As soon as he got that, when he Filthy. reached that pass from Pasta, came all the way down, and then just all right under his stick at the last second. He's all, not afraid all, to cut across the front of that crease. No, not no. not at He'll all. He'll fight you all the way. At what point does a goaltender realize he's doing that and and not necessarily poke check, but play so the top patient. of the crease and take a bump? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Give him so a bump. patient. He just held, hold, hold, gone. And then we got to talk about Pasta missing. 
Mm. The fat, wide open net, bud, ringing her off the pipe. That had to hurt. I would have rather him miss the whole net. The fact that he caught the fucking post. Or just, I'd, I'd, I'd be like, oh, my fix broke. I'd have broke that fuck. I'd like, snap, I'd have stepped on that blade immediately. I don't care. You can make fun of me later on Sports Center, but that was my reasoning. Wow. Ooh. It's about to start storming. But yeah, dude, I don't know. That's a tough series. It's going to go seven. They're playing right now, I think, right? This is Tuesday night. I think they're playing right now. Uh, so when this is live, we'll be one game behind. Mm, but no, they're not playing. It's, oh, is Tampa uh, playing right now? Yeah, Tampa and Carolina are playing. Right. Tampa's up one nothing. If anybody's curious, it's Tuesday. We release on Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Um, and We're then trying to go up Vegas, the Colorado. Most up to date that we can on the on the hockey guys because we know it's uh, it's hard. And this you know this competition. Tips now. Yeah, Tampa, be on top Tampa Bay is up one nothing right now. Let's jump on that one. Tampa Bay is up one nothing yeah. right now in the second period, and it's a three one. It's a three one lead in the series versus Carolina. I, it's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot to come back against this Tampa Bay team. Um, they're playing great hockey right now, and they have the depth. They it, a lot of people are pissed because of the salary cap issue, where playoffs don't matter, so you can you know be 17 million over cap whatever which is crazy be. but i get it i don't yeah care. no shit right at that point it's like let me just conserve all my good guys on the cap and then bring them in for playoffs but listen that you, you can't take anything away from the players killhorn's been a stud Braden point's been a stud kucherov's been a stud so like victor Hedman's uh yeah. sorelli oh i'm a big fan of sorelli i like that kid. yeah i like that kid a and lot I, and again, where do, and where does this conversation always take us? Right to the netminder, Vasilevsky. What, dude? This is what you, man. You've got to have four lines and a tender. Almost, you got to have four lines of two tenders. Like you. Got, well, yeah, technically you do. Yeah, technically. Well, you're saying, you, you're, your like, bottom, your bottom six has to produce. Your yeah. bottom six has to produce, and you got to build from your goalie out and and. V's been huge. vasquezzi has been huge between the pipes. Yeah. And Let's see you this. can build so much confidence when you have your goaltender playing that well against this team. And listen, Carolina's no joke. Okay. They're they're peppering, they're oh, peppering yeah. them. They're getting shots on net every single game. It's just, it's just not enough. I mean, all these games have been close. First game, two, one, second game, two, one, third game, three, two, game four, four, six. You know what I'm saying? So these have been really close games. They're not getting blown out by yeah. any means. It just shows the depth that Tampa has. They have that little etch, and that's the, that's the the little bit that they have over most of the teams in the league is, is the depth yeah. on, their, on their roster. So, for, if Carolina – listen, if Carolina comes back and wins, <laughs> that'd be a huge fucking upset. But it yeah. looks like it's going to be Tampa in the in the cup final. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it's definitely going to be Tampa. Tampa because if they have to play picks. Boston or New York – I, neither one of them teams right now. They both look good against each other, and it's a good series. Don't take nothing wrong, take anything away from it. But Tampa is just on another level. I don't see a Boston Tampa would be a fun, a fun oh, that'd series. That'd be a physical, sure. fast. That'd be that'd be man. I as much as I, I'm not a Boston fan, but they are such a good squad, dude. And they're fun like to watch. They really are fun to watch compared they're, to like so the creative. Islanders. They're so creative when Pasternak is out there with Marshawn. And Bergeron, it is magic. Like they just try things. It looks like they just try things. And you know what? I, you know what I really noticed this year watching. Like I was just, I always try to focus on something I noticed a lot. One was the creativity that these guys would just come up with on the fly, or you're like, whoa, they've done that in practice before. Like you can literally tell. It's like, whoa, dude. Like their positioning is perfect and everything. That, and you can really tell a high caliber defenseman immediately. Yeah. Like you can, t- like they're they're so aggressive. Mm-hmm. Like they're in there. Like they're, there's literally like you, like any other guy would be skating backwards, but no, you went for it. You're like, Oh, I'm going to beat him to that. You, puck. you stepped up on the blue line. Yeah. Instead it's of starting it's, to backtrack early. Charlie McAvoy. Just something, Charlie McAvoy is a prime example of that, but it's just something I noticed where it's like, that's the defenseman. That's how you win. You keep the puck in, you know what I mean? Like those guys, they risk it, you know, high, you high risk, but big reward at that point, you know, cause half their guys are facing this way. Yeah, it's support, so, it's support both ways. Your, your yeah. offense men have to back check and give your D support so they can make plays. And yeah, vice versa, just, your D have to play a little bit aggressive when you're in the zone or else right. I'm, or else your, your, your guys are stuck by, you know, b- below the line. Yeah, so, yeah it go, exactly. It but goes it's just, both it's ways. Really, it's just something I was really like looking at this year, and I was like, whoa, man. I was like, you can really tell the caliber. Even in the NHL, the caliber mm-hmm. of defense, but that's like, Oh, he made he chose he knew he was gonna make that play. You know, it's crazy to see that and to, and to see that play out. It's like wow, just the next level of this. So even in the NHL, there's levels to that shit. It's there so really crazy. Is. It's so crazy, son. 
Always blows my mind, dude. But Let's yeah, Tampa. West. Yes, the West. Avs and the Knights, another series tied 2-2. I think this one's going seven as well. Yeah, uh, the other night, uh, Marsha Stahl with the with the Hattie, like that's the, they've had two players with Hatties now. Robin Leonard's throwing his hat on the ice once once a series. It's 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 crazy. Patcheretti has been a fucking stud. Um, my, since, Pacioretty since coming and back Stone, from injury, bro. I can't deal wow. with this. Wow. You know what's dude? Vegas is a. I hate Vegas. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I'm throwing that out there right now. This is a fun team to watch. Maybe it's just the series. But this is a fun team to watch right now. No, they are. They have the skill. They have the speed. I mean, you, you got guys like uh, we already mentioned, uh, Pacioretty, Stone, Marcia Son. They got fucking out. They got Took. They got Smith. Exactly. Carlson, uh, Theodore on D. They, they have some great they, they have some great talent over there. And then when you got guys like Flurry between the pipes, Robin Leonard, like how do you not play with confidence? Uh, it, it, I don't I don't know. I, I really like the Colorado avalanche. I want to see them win this series. Yeah. But the way Vegas has battled back, Colorado is going to have to do something. They should have stepped on their fucking neck when they had the chance. Colorado, that is Vegas. But yeah. They let them battle back in. And now they've got confidence and the doubt. They had the 2 lead. They, they had the 2 lead. They were definitely changing some opinions quick, but man, you, you couldn't count Vegas out. Like you said, they didn't, they could have stepped on the gas and they, and it seems like they couldn't get away with it. Yeah, Grubauer six two and oh. He's a two point two five goals against and a point nine two nine save percentage compared to Flurry, who's six four and oh, one point seven nine goals against, point nine two four save percentage and a shutout. I can't get over how fun this team is to watch too, between McKinnon and Landeskog, dude. Like they're man, Landeskog is so filthy good. Like he's so fucking good, dude. Yeah. And like and I, said hands, it, I see it every time, but like you can always tell when McKinnon's on the ice. Yeah. Like oh, off yeah. the puck, on the puck, it doesn't. You can tell when that guy's only on the ice. It's unreal how quickly he goes from neutral zone to behind the net in the offensive zone. He's just there. And it's boom. Yeah. Same but, with Cal McCarr, man. The the presence. I love that kid. I love yeah, that man. kid, man. The presence is noticeable, and you're like, and he, dude, he baits people to the blue line too. Like it's crazy. He creates so much space. He's so smart. He's so yeah. smart. He's gonna. He's gonna. Yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna be in this league for a long time, and he's gonna make. Yeah. He's a great player. How crazy is it? Like this always crosses my mind. Is that Pittsburgh let Flurry go, bro? Yeah, and let Flurry go for Matt Murray. Let and Matt Murray isn't even with them anymore, and Flurry's still playing playoff hockey. Like that just it's. I mean, listen, Pittsburgh made it to the playoffs. Like they had a chance. Yeah. But imagine if they, if they still had Flurry this whole time. Like, yeah, we let Hole go. It just happens. Yeah, but that's a, a different conversation. Flows. Flurry is going to go down. Yeah. He's one of the best goaltenders of our generation for sure. Yeah, how I many more years do you think he's got? I do the way he's playing, at least two or three. Easy. I was going to say as three. a starter, as a starter. Yeah, and then I think he has another two or three after that as a, a yeah. good backup. Imagine you bringing a rookie in with Flurry as a backup. Man, crispy. We saw what happened. Matt Murray went and won a Stanley Cup. Like, yeah. Come on. So yeah, I think he's Flurry's Flurry's not going anywhere. He might not stay with Vegas the whole time. Maybe he goes back to Pittsburgh, retire or something like that. But if Vegas lets him go, they're silly. They're who do you think? Silly. Who do you think on that on that series? There you think it's gonna be Abs or Knights? I'm still going Abs. I'm still going Abs just because I fucking hate Vegas. And the fact that we just had the reunion of Caps winning the Stanley Cup. Whoop, whoop. Oh, so nice. The so memories nice. came up. I'm at the show. I'm so busy. I went to share so many memories. I was like, oh man, like we were at the at the thing when they won man Outside, yeah that shit was so tight dude i'll never forget that the rest of my life i got fucking interviewed by the news that was a wild fucking night man 2018 bro that's crazy best year of my life my 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 favorite hockey team was their first stanley cup and then a few months later my my son's born like pfft. that's crazy yeah dude and i think 2018 might have been my what they refer to as my golden birthday year where it's like I turned 29 all, and my birthday is the 29th. They call it like your golden birthday. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, 2018 was a good year for me. Real good year. That's wild. Man, mine's <laughs> 18. Man, I've ruined that awfully early. Yep. I was a moron. I'm still a I was stupid. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, so the- I was going to say, <laughs> do you have a – based off the way these series are right now, it's kind of hard to call, but what, what's your what's – your, I, I, I do this every episode. What's your – how are you looking? What's your cup final right now? My, I mean, it dep- I don't know how the matchups are going to be, which is really weird, uh, which I don't like. But what to me would be 
a fun final in the way it might go is like Avs Tampa. If it happens, that's what that I'm saying. Be, Montreal's not be going to be Montreal can't beat any. If let's so let's say hypothetically Tampa wins, Boston <laughs> wins, and and the Avs win. Montreal's not beating either either one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Those three teams would have to fall on their face. Montreal's playing great hockey, but these other three teams are just deep. They're too deep. Um, yeah. So Montreal is going to take an L there, right? And then if you say, okay, well Boston's going to play, let's say hypothetically Tampa. If if the Boston if Boston's giving the Islanders a chance, nothing against the Islanders. They're playing great hockey. Man, I don't know. You can't count the Islanders out, man. They got Varlamov off, and- but they're not Tampa. They're not the Tampa Bay Lightning. Very true. They're Very not true. the Central Division has been one of the best divisions outside of the East all year. I felt like you had Florida playing really great hockey, t- and yeah, now Tampa's play, Tampa's still kick, kicking it like you know, n- like it's nothing. And the way they handled Carolina, who I thought was playing great hockey all season, it's it's looking like a Tampa a Tampa back to back, which would be fucking crazy because I'm tired of crazy fucking Eastern Division dynasty. Do you see that? Do you see that? Pat Maroon, he is Pat Maroon with a hat trick called a fat trick. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shit. loved when what he did you- the chicken shit though. That shit yeah. was hilarious. I what? love that guy. You. Well, that would be three for him because yeah. he left St. Louis after winning. Three. Wins the cup, goes back to back with Tampa. And then if he wins Pat Maroon. Legacy. 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 All the big boys out there never give up on your dreams. <laughs> I met that guy at a roller skating rink. Pat, Pat Maroon, roller hockey, roller hockey tournament. Yeah, yeah he was he was a yeah. fucking asshole too when he played roller hockey. That's because he was training MMA back then. That was a that was a crazy motherfucker. Big fan of the old truck though. Big fan of the old Maroon. Maroon. That'd be crazy. Three for Maroon. All right. So who do you got? Sorry, let's jump back. I got. I got same thing. I hate to say it, but this 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 game tonight's really going to let you know what's going on with the Abs Vegas. Uh, I, I, I've been calling for the halves. I thought it was their year, but Vegas, man, you just can't count them out. So that's up in wow. the air. Vegas, Tampa looks like it could happen. Vegas, Tampa. It looks like that could be, it could be a Vegas. And with, in which case it's like, I'm really fucked. Cause I don't want Tampa to win again. Right. And, but at the same time, like fuck Vegas for coming in and already winning a cup. Like all these teams I know, pay, pay their dues and you guys Fucking come Vegas. in. Vegas. Yeah. Now I got to worry about Seattle. Yeah, that's another thing, right? Like we got that coming up, and we're gonna we're gonna do a little epi on that. But is, is that what it's pick. gonna be? Is that where we're at now? Where every, if we add an expansion team, they're automatically an instant playoff team? Like that's right. wild, and and it makes sense. It makes sense because like, listen, keep your top guys. We're gonna pick from your bottom guys. Well, the NHL really doesn't have bottom guys anymore. Most teams a, no, have a exactly. lot of depth, exactly, and that's really where it's at. People are like, oh, they got to pick their team, bro. Yeah, they've got to pick from the bottom of the barrel. Unfortunately. Or fortunately for them, the bottom of the barrel in the NHL is still high caliber players. Yeah, I was gonna say, and sometimes they're players that are coming down and they're about to catch their last stride, and some guys are coming up that haven't caught their first stride yet. And that we saw what happened with Vegas when it all comes together. Or like or guys that are, weren't getting the play in time, like Carlson, then he comes over yeah. here. Stud. Group of hardworking guys, they bring it out of each other like that. Ah, it's tough, man. It's tough, but Speaking that, of players and drafting, it blows my mind that Boston drafted three players before Barzell. And one of them's DeBrusque. Like, wow. How do you it's it's crazy how things work out, right? Could you imagine picking three people before Barzell and he turns out to be a fucking beauty. That guy. Who's yeah. the who's the fucking coach, the scouting coach had hated him? <laughs> You never know. You never know. I mean, they're young men when they come in, man. They're still children, essentially. I mean, I know they're mature uh, for their age because they've been in the spotlight a little bit and shit, but you never know how these guys are going to work out. How many first-round draft picks have we seen be bust? Yeah, true. So, Tom Brady. (laughs) Tom Brady. All right, let's let's switch gears and jump from hockey, man. We got to talk about – we got to jump on the hype train. Did you? I definitely didn't watch it. I don't no, know I didn't watch it either. It. No. Okay, definitely I watched watch the replays it. though, so we can talk. Watch about the replays. It. Watch the replays. We're talking about the Logan Paul Floyd Money Mayweather fight. I mean, whatever you can call it that, I guess. Exhibition Did you, match. Exhibition match. Basically, just a mockery of boxing. Um, because what did Logan Paul make? Twenty million, and Floyd Miller made fifty million. Like, where does this money even come from? Number one, like, where does the money come from? And then two. This is like shit like that is so bad for a sport of boxing and mixed martial arts that's already struggling 
which is crazy and doesn't pay their guys that much in my opinion anyway. And now these two fuckheads, not, not really, but one of the greatest ever and Logan Paul, you know, they're making, mil- I mean, all it is is win or lose. You're, you're, they're winners. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. My, I-, I would let Floyd Weather whoop my fucking ass for that much money, bro. Yeah. Knock me out, bro. Hit me, please knock me out. Right. But it's just crazy. It's just names. It's just, you know what I mean? It's all really, it's really, it it was the, it was like an internet influencer. Yeah. I mean, you can't take no shine from him. Like he, he got Floyd to commit. Like how many people have called out Floyd throughout his career? Right. You know what I'm saying? So he got him to commit. You got him to take him serious. He, he went the rounds. Here's the thing. though. And Floyd wouldn't have done it without the money. Like he oh, would not have, you know, of course. 50, he knew he was going to get that guy's number. Fifty million is that guy's number. He like, knew he was going to get the money with this one. Here's the thing, yeah. though. Are you seeing what people are saying about him being knocked up and Floyd holding him up? I saw that. I don't it know. It looks it, like it, dude. It, it's a hook, and then you see his body weight just fall on the floor, and Floyd's like, "Stay up, big fella." Stay. Yeah, and Logan, he definitely had some. You know, his eyes were red, so I mean, he definitely ate some shots. And shout out, and, and honestly. It's one of those things where it's like, shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Hung in there for eight rounds. I didn't know there wasn't going to be scoring yeah. or anything. Like, That's what I'm saying. It's like an exhibition match. Like, yeah, I didn't know that at all. Like, there's no scoring. I was like, what are you, you guys are literally just hee hee hee. Like, what? Like, and that's where, understand. like, the insult to boxing, I think, comes in. Like, you guys yeah. made all this money on a, a not. It wasn't even a real fucking match. It wasn't a title fight. It was, it was an exhibition. Yeah. It's wild to me. I don't. I don't know enough about boxing in the boxing world to comment too much farther as far as like. I feel like being it's paid it's, and all that shit, but like I feel like it's tough. It's a tough yeah. circuit to come through to get professional to get money and stuff like that. It's very hard, just like mixed martial arts. It's very hard. There's not much money in it when you do it, unless you're someone who is like Mayweather. And but look, people didn't know about him until you know he was like 20 and 0, 30 and 0. You know what I mean? Like people don't even pay attention to the shit like that. So it's just crazy. Boxing back in the day was so much bigger than it is now, which is crazy because mm-hmm. now you've got like these Mexican fighters. I enjoy watching Canelo. Like he's a beast on like, and like this kid, Ryan Garcia, you ever watch him, man? Yeah. That kid is insane. Like, and like, it's, and it's just, these guys are grinding all day. Like they're the real deal. And it's like, this is what we get shoved in our faces though. You know, that's why I feel like we had to talk about it. Like, I felt like it was like a, a, a big cat toying with its food with, with Mayweather, like right. dodging pop pop dodge you know what i'm saying like he was just doing his thing he's just like he's the best defensive boxer in the world he's the best at not getting hit and supposedly logan i guess hit him a few times i don't fucking know but all right let's switch gears into the jake paul tyrone woodley do you know anything about tyrone woodley mixed martial arts fighter no animal when he was in his prime animal don't know if he's ever been a champion but absolute animal and now he's fighting or boxing Jake Paul, I should say. That's he's the Logan next Paul's thing. brother. Yeah, which kid, this kid's an absolute, he's a genius. This fucking moron. <laughs> he's an absolute genius. They nailed it. They really just took advantage of it all at the right time, man. And that's where all their hate comes from. It's because it's not, not because they're stupid. They're just that smart. Like when he took, did you see that thing where when he took Floyd Miller's hat? Did you see that? Do you Got know who that was? Do no. you know what that was leading up to that? Mm-mm. So I, I like I caught up with it on the on this on this quick pod, but they so basically Logan Paul and Mayweather were doing like a press conference, and like Mayweather brought up the stuff that he did in Japan, where he was like, "We know is like we know what you did in Japan because you have no respect for yourself." Da, da, da. What so was it, what ever, happened in Japan? Remember when he was like he made that YouTube video in this forest where people commit suicide or whatever and i guess no. they found a body or like a body that was recently hung or someone who recently like killed themselves like this is why i don't fuck with this guy like this is why i told you I, logan I or jake found the body logan the older one logan but this is also eight years ago so like a lot's changed since then yeah, it's a little but kid. like yeah, yeah yeah exactly that's what i mean that's why i understand it like oh, i've done dumb shit too he just happened to record what did he do things. did he just record it or did he fuck so with i don't it? know i don't i don't know i never saw the video i've never really done but supposedly what he did was disrespectful and all this stuff whatever mm-hmm. i don't know the, i don't know the full story but like i guess mayweather brought it up and mm-hmm. like logan and like logan was like i didn't know we were gonna go personal and then he says something about like, the only fight you can win is against your wife and like all this other shit but anywho as soon as he came off stage like Logan was like, I guess his camera crew was in his face. It's got to be hard, number one, always being on camera. It's got to be hard. Like, mm. it's got to be hard. Mm-hmm. Um, always hot mic. Could you imagine? I'd be in so much. Uh, uh, just We're shut it down. For me. <laughs> they be doing it, just shut it down. Uh, but so like, as soon as he came up the stage, Jake was like, I'm going to fuck him. I'm going to grab his hat. 
Like it's literally what he said, like right to Logan. And that's why I got over his face. He was like, gotcha hat. And that's literally what that was planned and set up. That wasn't like a spur of the moment. He thought of that. Jake knew to do that as soon as they got done. He was like, I'm taking this fucking hat. Watch. He's like, I'm gonna get them all fired up. Like that was her whole that was his whole plan. The, the kid's a fucking genius. He 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 almost bullied him like a little like a little kid. I got your fucking hat. Come yeah. get it. Come get it. I'm, it I'm a moron it's, kid. And it's crazy. Come fight a moron kid. Like, yeah, it's, isn't it's it crazy so how smart. the littlest thing can get the biggest publicity and that and publicity? And that's, that's exactly what they've done. That's exactly Negative. what they've done. Good or bad at this point. They're you're we're talking about them, aren't we? They won. Yeah, we're on our podcast talking about them. Yeah, it's oh. crazy. But I just had to bring it up because like that 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 whole thing is just wild to me. I can't believe they, so many people paid to watch that shit. Yeah. Did you see the people? I did see someone. I guess the Snapchats were getting out of people that paid like eight hundred dollars for like front row seats, and you couldn't even see the boxing ring, like like where the actual like arena seating started. You couldn't even see the boxing ring. They were so far away. They paid eight hundred dollars a seat and had two seats. Wow! So like people are yeah. And then I saw like big name ballers like Brooks Co. Is it Brooks Co. Copica? from the pga tour yeah, the, yeah the golfer he was like yeah. up in the grandstands like up high and shit rocking yeah, fucking diamonds and shit rich as fuck it's, it, it's, it's wild. wild it's wild i don't know man i feel like not it's, my scene bro yeah i don't know i don't know that's why i love our sport bro you can't you can't do that you can't do that with the nhl you can't make a mockery of it you can't you know what i'm saying some some asshole like that can't just come in and, and run sh- you know what i'm saying like just yeah. fuck with it like nah nah no it's a it's a sport it's real it's a team effort. Well, uh, the same thing in the past would have been said about boxing. It's a sport. No, nah, never happened. No. Boxing's a sport for sure. And those people don't know. Like, but here's the thing: you can't now. Like, it's almost like you can't talk shit about Jake and Logan or whatever because they really do. They've been doing it for three years. They've really been training. They, yeah, after. I will give them that. I've seen their training videos, and they're not faking the funk. They really are but taking then, their training. But then, in not- my opinion, then go put yourself in a tournament, win a local tournament. You know, then like build some real respectable credit you know like that's what all comes they're from, not right? after respect though they're after dollar bills true that's where that's what all comes and that's down where to, right? the boxing game is kind of fucked because it, everybody wants the prize right they want the prize fights they want big money fights fuck a title well, you don't even true. need a title look there's no title on this fight and like like back in the day yeah. when, when i thought fighting ufc or or mixed martial arts or boxing like i, I watch title fights because those are the ones that matter you know right right not now. Nowadays, people don't give a fuck. Oh, there's no belt. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I don't give a fuck. It's Logan Paul. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's wild. It's yeah, wild. It things. It's different. It's definitely different. Definitely different. Yeah, I didn't. I, I just seen all the Instagrams. I was like, oh. I was kind of, it was one of those things where I was kind of like seeing what of, which one of my people that I know watched it. And I was yeah. like, oh, this is, this is right. This makes sense. This makes sense. Oh, learn something about you. Like, you know, like, it's just like, what? Nah, you know, you know, just, <laughs> just push no the screen. No hate here. No hate nah, here. no hate. No hate. Just launching. I just thought it was funny. Oh, but uh, where, what is that? Like, it's curious that the people you would have least expected probably were like tuning in, and that just goes to show you why they made like, so much fucking money. It, the yeah. people that would never even watch the goddamn, gosh darn, sorry, the gosh darn sport are, are tuning into this because there's yeah. so much hype. We've been, I've been hearing about it for so long. I thought the fight already fucking happened. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's we're still talking about this. Yeah, we're still like, I thought it happened. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's crazy. And the way they, they fucking like build up publicity to these fights, like with Jake Paul, where he's going around like making a mockery of people, teasing them in public places and shit like that. Like, that's, I mean, hey, bravo to them, right? Marketing game, their marketing is on 1000. So, I mean, they got something figured out, they did something right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that for Silicon Man. I think I don't know. Just <laughs> you thought it just hit people in face a package. Wow, take that motherfucker. Oh, this guy shit. That's crazy. attacked me. Crazy. I don't know. I, I get it, but I, I haven't heard, it. but maybe you have. How do how do like people like Joe Rogan and Dana White, how do they feel about stuff like this? Well, that's so like Dave, like I've heard Rogan talk about it. Like he's like, you know, he is putting in the training. You know, that's kind of like the he's like putting in the training, putting in the time, but it's also I've always respected Joe weapon. Rogan's opinion when it came to fighting. It comes to, yeah, it comes to fighting for sure. Oh, that's what I want to talk to you about about Logan Paul. Thank you for saying Joe Rogan because that took me back to aliens. Did you I sent you that thing where he was like, This is a simulation, the aliens are coming in June. That uh, yeah. like do you do you like do you think little stuff like that? Because I know that Logan Paul is into that stuff as well. But do you think there's anything to that? Because he just recently did a thing with Alex Jones too. So maybe Alex Jones got to him. But with how <laughs> it's funny as shit, but it's like, is it real? Uh, is it real? But see, here's the thing you got to remember with him. Like we just talked about marketing. 
you know, look True. at that. Look how many people, how many people probably saw that just because of that one clip that don't even fuck with boxing in the conspiracy world that don't fuck with boxing. Now, <laughs> now, now they're the two have come to mind because of Logan Paul, because of this one comment he made. Right. Same with Floyd Mayweather wearing the shit for Ethereum with the cryptocurrency. Like it's, it's, it's yeah, to me, it's all marketing. It, 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 to me, it's out, it's all marketing. But I mean, I, the, let's talk on that real quick. We talk about conspiracies all the time. How do, what do you, what are your thoughts on that? The, so look, the supposed fake you. alien attack that's supposed to happen. So I don't know. I tagged you in two things recently. One was that I sent that to you. And then literally right before we got on, I sent you that tornado. How crazy was that fucking tornado thing? Did you watch that? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I thought I was waiting yeah. for some damage. That's my best part. I didn't think it was a tornado. Was like, that's fake. That's not a tornado. That's it a beam. Fake, right? That's a beam. The way it was coming down. Yeah. I, like, I thought most beam. tornadoes like come down like a, a this was just yeah. like skinny all the way down. Like, yeah, like you say, a beam. It was weird. Yeah. I was like, this is weird. Well, this is weird but to talk about it we gotta talk about the aliens a little bit because dude this shit has been released like they are here like we know about them it, they, they, the crafts may be unmanned but they are they are crafts that are being seen more regularly unmanned doing, what do you mean like they could be some some people speculate that the ufos that we've been seeing they're just drones like they're not manned so they're that vehicles. far ahead like they're sending like a little drone and there's they travel so fast. Like they, have you you've heard have you been have you did you see the more of the reports and stuff like that? Like these things move from zero like eighty thousand feet down to zero feet in a, a, a half a second. Like they 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 can't understand their propulsion. Yeah, they there's no like jet system or anything. There's nothing. Activity. Yeah, there's not. It just goes. Like, They're it's working like, on a different system that we can't comprehend. Not near. Not even dude. The 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 quantum. Physi physics bullshit. We're not even anywhere close. No, not anywhere close. Shoot, it doesn't still fucking shooting rockets straight up and down. We're shooting right? bullets. Okay, we're still we're number one. We're still fighting. How about that? Yeah, you know, I don't think you can get to a society of that that evolved if, when you're still dealing with that type of shit. To be honest with not you, not at all. Not at all. It's gonna take. It's gonna take everyone together to come together and, and start evolving and putting humanity first right. to get to that level. Personally, that's, that's what I think. But that's one thing that we could talk about too is the are they coming and the, are they observing just because they know how fucked up things are? Like, have they always been? There's observing different conspiracies it, about it, dude. There's yeah. some, there's a lot of like, here's one that I heard, and this is just what I heard doesn't mean I believe it, but one of the ones I heard is if you ever heard all the talk about how they think that Mars and all these other planets have like think like pyramids and stuff on them, but they yeah, died yeah. off. So, supposedly, one of the things is humans were top dog in the intergalactic world right but shit went down and everyone teamed up against them and we had to escalate and like leave and and, and we that's where we found earth but we didn't have the tools and resources to put everything back together and that's why our history is so blur and so it so now they've just been monitoring us to see where we're at are they back to where they're they're a threat again oh no they're 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 over here and that's why Whoa. they feel like reptilians and all these other aliens have manipulated us to keep us from getting back to that level again. That's crazy. That's pretty deep. But doesn't it kind of make sense? I mean, it could make sense if you believe everything. Like I, I've seen the photos on Mars that they say there's like tombs and you can see faces where it looks like it could have been like statues that crumbled. And, and why is it right. red? Maybe there was like a nuclear war there. And that's why it's turned to, you know, rust essentially. And yeah. if, if you had to think about it, let's talk about movies and shit. And then what we know, if you, they sent an escape pod with two people, Adam and Eve, and they land here and all they have to, all, all they know is to eat, survive and reproduce. The history is going to get lost. Whoa. Yeah. That's just one speculation. There's so many, man. There's That's so a good one. Here's the thing. I haven't looked into it yet, but it's crossed my mind, and, and I'm going to wait till I have the time to really dig into it. But, like, <laughs> when did we start talking about reptilians? Because I don't ever recall seeing anything in history in, the, like, the 1800s, 1600s, where reptilians are, are in their, their writings. You feel me? So mm. is reptilians a, a 21st century conspiracy thing? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Now, I can definitely say that when you look at the stuff like Egypt and um, who was the, the painter? Fuck me. Come on, dog. Michelangelo? Yeah, Michelangelo. And, and another one. I forgot his name. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, they have aliens in their paintings where they have his shit. Uh, you know what I'm right. saying? So yeah. you see it there with that. So the aliens thing makes sense. They've been, always been around. I don't know. It's wild. It's it wild. Is. It's, it's all in what like you believe. Gonna... 
we're either going to know or it's just going to stop one day. Who the fuck knows? I don't, I don't know. know. I have no idea. I don't know, bro. They're saying, you know, do you remember the China city, the city in China that was like seen in the sky by everybody? Like a whole city was in the clouds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they were saying that was them testing CGI and that's what they're going to do. They're going to, what supposedly is going to happen is we're going to see a false prophet. So everyone gets worried and starts, you know, and then there's going to be an alien attack. That's crazy. And it's all going to be all in the sky, CGI. You heard it here, folks. The aliens are coming. But that's conspiracy theories. And that's, that's just crazy. how they work, right? There's no, that's I a, mean, yeah. as of late, though, most of these conspiracy theories that have been talked about throughout the years have come true, which is the scary. That's, part. that's what's, that's crazy. I mean, we talked about this before. If anyone doesn't know him, Alex Jones has been speculating <laughs> shit about Illuminati and 9 11 and all this shit. And everyone's called him fucking crazy. And then now all these fact checkers that tried to cancel him, what is, what's his percentage? 62% of the shit he said yeah. was great. It's crazy. That's even more crazy. I'm not even like a supporter. I just like I like to dabble in the rabbit hole. Yeah, he's been on know? Joe Rogan. I watch Joe Rogan. I've seen yeah. him on there. I've heard him talk. And he's like, okay, this, this guy believes that. It's wild. Fuck yeah. So we'll see what happens, man. And that's that's why I like when we started this episode and I said, yeah, I'm doing great because I've I, you get down that rabbit hole and get fucked with your emotions. Yeah. And I've just I've turned that shit off. Like, listen, if it's going to happen, yeah. if the government's going to trick us or or whatever it may be, if COVID's not real and the vaccines and shit, whatever all this conspiracy shit is like, are you going to be able to do anything to stop it? Is that, no. You know, say like, I don't I'm not in on anything political. I don't I know nothing. But all I know is like when people say one thing and they just do another, I guess that's happening a lot, uh, which is not a surprise, of course. But like, yeah, man, just all, all, all the bullshit. Who even like, oh, man, doesn't even matter. You're right. Doesn't matter. What if they are? What if they are tracking you? Doesn't matter. Yeah. What, what are you going to do? Is, what are you going to do about it? You know what, what I'm saying? What does it like, alter your DNA? What are we? Oh, no. What are you going to do about it? I mean, you got to just live every day. It's so internal, crazy. With internal peace and happiness, man. Just live your live every, one day at a time. You can't stress shit that's out of your control. Just love, love, love your love your partner. You know, yeah, just love, enjoy, right? Enjoy, enjoy your time with your children. Don't get upset because someone's bad drive. Like you just gotta internal find peace and just be happy yeah. because like when it's your time, it's your time. And depending on what you believe on, like you'll either be reincarnated, you'll go to heaven, whatever it may be, right? But that shit's out of your hands. And I think if we spend too much time dwelling on it and worrying about it, like they're winning at that ass point. Yeah. That aspect, you know, like if I spend all my time, ass point, <laughs> ass point. <laughs> if, if we spend all our time, like looking at TikTok videos and watching YouTube videos and reading articles about it, like then I've just wasted so much time where I could have been productive or time where yeah. I could have just enjoyed being alive, which is a yeah. blimp, which is a blimp in time, bro. We are not here that long. Why sure. waste it worrying? Why waste it sure. worrying? You're already going to do things you don't want to do with your job or sitting in traffic Oy. or blah, blah, blah. So why, you know, that's where I'm at with all this shit. Like I, I, I'm interested and I look at it because a lot of shit is curious, especially when you talk about ancient civilizations and shit, that shit really gets me going. But like, like if the government's really tracking us and programming us and the coronavirus is a, a legit thing set out to eliminate the population, like they're saying Bill Gates wanted to do and all this wild conspiracy shit right now, like they're doing it. Like what the fuck am what the fuck is Joe Schmo like me going to do? Yeah. Start another American revolution. Like that's what I said. I said, when do I, when do the, do we just get the call one day and they're like, Hey, don't come, to, don't go to work. And we're like, why? Like, yeah, maybe just don't, maybe it's just <laughs> over. Like, is that day coming? Like, I think about that shit, bro. Like, is it just get an email with the night, like, email? Like, hey, guys, I guess it's it. We kind of knew it was coming. Yeah, I don't Society I, stopped. Like, I don't what? know, man. Like, they did it before, right? They, I was one of the few, you know, people. What do you mean? Like, just like they stopped society once before. Like, they could do it again. Like, I was, you know, an essential worker, you know, so I was lucky. But they've done that to yeah, other people. Flip they switch, they right? flip a Overnight. switch. Hey, stay home. Like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> yeah, and speaking What's of that, that, isn't it crazy how we expect our politicians to lie to us, but not scientists? And then all this shit's coming out about Fauci. Dude, it's all money. It's all Trump, the fucking money. And now they're doing recounts for Trump. Like, I don't want to get political here. It's just the shit that's just going on. And Canada's it's still crazy. on fucking crazy lockdown. Yeah. And it's just like, at what point do we just draw the line? There's going to be no insane. horses riding through the town saying the British are coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if shit pops off, they're going to cut. They're going to. EMP, like no electronics. And the today's society, most people don't know how to That's fucking act. Dead to death. Like, dead to death. You're going to write me a letter? Who's going to deliver it? Like, it's, it's every man for himself. How do I, how do I get anywhere? 
Yeah, because yeah, EMP is going to take out electronic cars. You better hope you got, yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's, so I'm holding on to that dirt bike, that dirt bike in the back. Carbureted, carbureted baby. Dirt bike. Yeah, well, Harley's carbureted, too. I think I should be, I'll be good on that. There ain't no boards on that thing. Yeah. Boy, I'll catch me out here looking like uh, Norman Remus. <sighs> but, yeah, yeah, right. I'd be so dead. I wouldn't even want to deal with that shit. It's crazy, though. It really is crazy times. But I've, I've heard some people talking, and they put a really good spin on it, and they're like, now's one of the best times to be alive like it still and, is technically and, and, and if you think about it it's like yeah because like if all this shit's really happening and when the great awakening's happening people are starting to realize like how dirty politicians are and all that shit like yeah we got to be part of a generation that got rid of the the, the dirty corrupt if it goes our way right if it goes our way we got rid of the corrupt and maybe we yeah, are on the yeah. path to enlightenment and awake awakening where we can finally come together maybe we need it. That's all I know. We just you, need to be. How do you feel about this? Uh, this whole like race stuff being taught in schools. I know we don't have well, kids the, in school yet, but what like, is, yeah, I've only heard uh, two things like the race culture. What is it called? Like, critical race theory. Critical race theory, which basically is teaching kids that anyone people who of ethnicity have, whites, ha- have have less. Yeah, have le- have less than people with, who don't. Which is bullshit. In my eyes. I, think, I don't know. I don't, I I don't think, know enough to comment. I think on it. you have to respect every single individual as an individual, regardless of his race. You can. There's lazy, trashy ass white people that aren't going to do shit for their lives, Absolutely. and there's the same for other ethnicities. But at the same time, how many individuals of, of of different race do we know that are fucking millionaires and built something from nothing and had crackhead parents, blah blah blah, whatever the storyline might be? And I think every it's 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 all it's all in here, man. Like yeah, you know? we'll see. I'm I'm not. No, now, I'm not saying that there's not systems set in place that, uh, with, that which, make it yeah. hard. Yes, for sure. But at the end of the day, like you can't quit. Like you're gonna get kicked down. You're gonna get kicked in the teeth, right? You gotta just right. keep going. I get it. Like I, I, I understand it. I, I, I understand the what they what what is found and some like meaning like I don't maybe I don't have the same barriers that someone else has based off my skin color. I understand that. I get that. But at the same time. You know, it, it, it to me it is what it is, but I I understand it. I do get it. You know, that's and I understand things aren't fair, and there are systems, definitely systems in place like systematic racism and shit like that is for sure real, just as just as real as racism is. But here's the thing about racism, man, it's it's it is so multicultural. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like everyone always tries to. There, there's no pointing fingers at anything. There, there's there's one word it's for it. It's racism. Like like who like this asian hate stuff like that is crazy people that age people are just getting attacked like who's like, who decides that like you yeah, know i don't like, know because it's definitely <laughs> taught though because my kid uh, the area we live in is very um i guess i would be the word eth- ethnical or uh, there's a lot of ethnicity there's a lot of people of like uh um, it's culturally diverse Middle east asian blah blah, blah you right. know pakistan different things and when my kid goes to the playground and and he's the only white kid there like and i'm not saying all this shit to be racist about it but like we don't care we still go play and he plays with all the kids yeah. he doesn't see color blah 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 which sounds i know people say oh you don't see color that's ignorant but he doesn't he doesn't he just, no, he's, well, he's just he wants kid. to play yeah, with exactly but that's kid. what i'm getting yeah. at that shit is tall if it was yeah, a thing oh, for sure. genetics where you're born racist like my kid would be like i'm not playing with those kids they're what color are they all you know what i'm saying he'd be weird about it. right like, no he does not care he just wants to yeah. play and have fun with other little kids so it's 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 wild man i think that's what we- I was it's one of those things. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna last comment here. Just like I think another little thing that kind of bothers me is when we start putting these labels on people. Like, oh, he's yeah. Spanish, Spanish American. He's African American. Like, no, we're just all. Why can't we just all be Americans? Why do we have to put these right. little labels on? And I guess it, if you want to be pride, proudful because you know maybe you did come from Africa, so you call yeah, American. Cool. It's a big deal. But most people were born here. Their parents were born here, and like right. that's where we need to come. We're Americans at that point, right? Or am right. I wrong? Am I ignorant? no, no. No, no, I get it. But at the same time, like, it's almost, I don't know, man, I, I've had multiple conversations with different types of people and stuff like that. And it's something that we'll just never be able to comprehend. Like, it's it's something that's just, it's beyond comprehension unless you are that person. Like, it, it really is. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, that's like someone trying to tell you that, like, your favorite ice cream is not your favorite ice cream. Like, no, it's my favorite ice cream. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's just something that we would, it's something that is un- uncomparable, even amongst other communities, you know? Like the just just the way they feel, which I I understand and get, but at the same time, like, do I think we should all just yeah that's that would that's how we want to look at it because that 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 solves 
the problem in our eyes, but not everyone thinks the way we do. I just see, like, I, I don't, like, again, I don't care what you are. If you're stupid, I probably don't like you. Like, it's, it's that, and I'm a moron. Like, you know what I mean? But if you, you know, that, that's just all yeah, I, I hate, feel. I hate, I hate stupid people too. Yeah, like if you're like if you're just like come on man, like if you're making my day harder, like I'm, I don't like you, I don't care who you are. <laughs> like, yeah. But no, like you know what I mean? Like it's it doesn't matter to me. I, I've worked with from everyone, from every color, race, mm -hmm. uh, gender, ethnicity. Like come on man, like I, I, I it's funny. I like one of one. I got to work with a guy I haven't worked with in a long time, and he's like uh, in his fifties. And I'm like, I'm like, Hey, what is up, man? Like, I haven't seen you in like a year, you know, and I, this guy's in his fifties and I, I enjoy talking to him, you know, like it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, you know, it, it just depends on uh, just like, it's how you, it's what you put out in the world. It's, it's all I care about, man. Yeah. I don't care who you are. I don't, I, I don't I hate to people. make it sound so simple, but I just like, come on, bro. Love wins. Like, yeah, that's love a, wins. and that's, that's another way I've been carrying myself too when I go out in public and well, who gives a fuck? upset and like, shit about other people. Like that oh, was a bad driver and this moron, like, Listen, you don't know what's going on in that guy's life. This motherfucker yeah. could have just found out his wife cheated on him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, it's take crazy. A grain of salt, like it's the the stereotypes for me is really what does it, man. Like the stereotypes, and then just the way people feel about people before they even know them. Before they even know them, they don't even know. They haven't said a word. I don't even. I don't, that guy's through another. That guy's through a glass window, and I think that guy's a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like mm -hmm. just looking at you up and down, like it's just crazy. And because I've gotten those looks before. Like, you oh, know, of I, course. I, I, I have tattoos you know, and shit. People look at yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I definitely get it. But it's just, it's, it's wild. And, and like, but with you, I don't know. It's, I, I, one of the things I just realized we're all just people. Like, I don't know. We're all just people. Yeah. Dude. That's, that's exactly where I'm at. Like, bro, we, we're just people. We, we all have the same we both, problems. We're all bags of meat with a yeah. spirit, with a spirit inside. You know what dude. I'm saying? Like, come on. Not to quote Rogan again, but, uh, yeah, like he once said, I think he just said the other day, like he just views, we're all just children. We're just children that are, we're just children, you know, like that's kind of how I see people. Like, I'm just like, oh, you're a silly person. You're just a silly fuck. Like that, that's literally how I see people. That's just, I don't know. That's how I leave it at. Like, I, like, some, like how we always say, like some days I feel like I'm fucking 18 and I'm in a body that's 32 and it's crazy. That's what I mean. We're all just, we're all just. I don't know. We're just in these avatars, man. It's weird. That makes sense know. because I mean, you've heard me say numerous times, like high school never ends, right? Yeah, it's just there's always clicks. There's people that talk shit about other people, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, high, it's like high school never really ends, even once you get out. But so before we hop off here and and, and, and wrap it up, I had one more thing I wanted to uh, ask you if you've heard of. It's called Gia, G A I A. You heard no. of it? It's an app. No. It's like Netflix for uh like uh everything that's not on netflix so like uh conspiracies if you want to learn about bigfoot if you want to learn about meditation or you know if you're familiar okay. with dr joe dispenza he does like he's brains brain activity and it's, it's pretty dope it's pretty huh. dope so check it out yeah 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 through youtube or like it's an app it's an, it's an app yeah it's an app yeah and it's just loaded it with, with with series and movies and it's you right. yeah, yeah yeah it's pretty dope there's some wild shit on there yeah I'm down. Check it out. I'm down. You too. You too. Down. All right, guys. That was uh, episode 55. Oh, man. Something, something jumped up and bit me. Yeah, man, what, a, but what a crazy episode. Starting on PP socks. Hockey. Um, oh, we're on, hockey. I don't even know where else we went. Oh. Conspiracy. I don't even know. Hopefully, we don't scare anybody off. But just We're just being real. This is, like, this, we're this just shooting the about. shit. We're just shooting the shit. If you're yeah. here now, we're just, you know we're just shooting the shit. We're just talking. But yeah, that was a good one. I had fun that episode. Well, I can hear my dog whining right now. I feel bad. He'll be all right. Mm. He'll be all right. I hope We're it's not it up, coming so. through the track. Hope it's not coming through the track. There's no sneer on my hand phone. <laughs> turn it up. Turn that joint up. I can't. I just want to be in a studio. Just studio making beats. Making beats with my keyboard. <laughs> That's all I need is a Bluetooth. <laughs> That's me on the keys, bro. Come in with my xylophone. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 55. That's a wrap. It's Episode been great. 55. I can't Always wait. Always good to see you. Of these. Hockey's almost yeah. over. That's sad, too. I know. I'm getting sad. It, we went to so many games a night to one to two, and now it's going to be two. Oh, this is the best hockey, though. This really is the best it hockey. Is. These teams are it so is. fucking good. It is. We're so blessed. We're so good. Can't wait. 
We really are. Guys, don't forget to support the boys over at uh, SilkyMintsHC.com. Uh, definitely check out the spring dro- or the summer drop. It's it out right now. It is lit. Uh, thank you, as always, for supporting Men Behind the Mints. Definitely uh, make sure you check out the YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and comment over there. Hit the bell. The bell over there there so you subscribe you get the notification when the uh the episodes drop just like this and uh as always you know check out the the instagram the youtube's where it's at where we've got the the episodes there but check out the instagram check out silk's instagram check out my instagram foil up mr silky j over there shout out to our international listeners germany coming in dublin germany shout out to dublin everyone that listens yes yes we love you all we love you all our friends are the border. A. Eh? I hope you guys are doing good up there. You know, thanks for the yeah. support as always. But yeah, man, everyone, you know, just, you know, keep, we're moving the right direction. Happy, stay healthy. You know what I mean? Be safe. Yeah. Yeah. And, Everybody uh, stay uh, happy, man. man. Stay just love one. Yeah. Another, man. It's big. Don't... It's a big time for that. Yeah. It's big yeah. time. Definitely. I agree. With Check you. on people. Check on people. Yeah. 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 Say hello. Until next time, folks. All right, guys. Be well. The boys from Men Behind the Mitts just want to say thanks for listening. And as always, be sure to follow us on all your favorite social media outlets at Men Behind the Mitts. Brought to you by Silky Mitts Hockey Club. Support the boys at SilkyMittsHC.com.